Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate. If you're new here, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if you're into that kind of thing, I'm actually feel free to subscribe and come and join our little luxurious family that we have here. We would love to have you. I am going wedding dress shopping today for the first time ever. My appointment's in a couple hours, so I still have a little bit of time. I just did my makeup. I did it super light though because I wasn't going to do any at all and then I saw a lot of people on TikTok, I was like looking at how to prepare, saw a lot of people on TikTok saying that like you should do your hair and your makeup just so that you can get a better idea of what everything's going to look like together. So that is what I did. Uh, this is like I said the first place that I'm going, it's called Grace Loves Lace. They have a lot of different locations but the one I'm going to is in San Diego and it's a really really cool spot because it used to be a church. I'll try to show you guys as much as I can. I don't really know what it's going to be like. Um, it's a one hour appointment I think and they had me choose some dresses ahead of time that I know that I want to try on so I gave them a list of five different dresses and I'm also going by myself so I live in California. My family does not live in California. I also like didn't really want to like ask anybody to come in to go dress shopping with me for like a place where I don't even know if I'm gonna find a dress for sure and this is my first time. So I think that if I narrowed it down some more and like I really needed help then I feel like that's when you know you call in the family and everything. But I think I'm fine on my own today. Like I have friends who could have gone with me but it's also the middle of the day on a weekday and I don't want to inconvenience anyone and I feel like I can handle this myself and then like I said once I narrow it down a little bit more maybe I'll have a shopping appointment where I have like friends or family come with me but for this one I feel like I got this I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not sure like what's gonna look good on my body type I'm five foot six I have a short torso got the girls um wide rib cage no hips really and hip dips which I love my body but a lot of times when you see these models who are in wedding gowns like they have a very um they have like more defined hips than i do uh they're usually very skinny and they have a small chest and so i'm interested in seeing like what looks best on my body type that is kind of what i'm hoping to accomplish with this appointment like i don't need to find like the dress we are thinking about getting married in december it is about to be april like by the time this video goes up it's going to be april i from what i've seen people say that you're supposed to shop, start shopping for dresses between like eight to 12 months before your wedding date we don't have a specific date we're thinking december um it's gonna be very small so i'm not worried about being able to get like a big venue or anything like that i'm not worried about that at all so the date we're really flexible on i'm not real concerned about figuring out the dress thing in time i feel like we're case scenario I order something that is like ready to ready to ship online like I'm not super worried about it one thing I do want to talk about though is like budget I mean or just prices of dresses in general I don't know how much I want to spend like I want to of course have the price be as low as I can right like obviously you hope that you find something that is like under your budget you save a whole bunch of money right and that's that's the goal obviously that's my goal I love a good deal the place that I'm going today all of their dresses are around the same price point which is what I really liked about them because like you're not going to get there and then be like oh like I saw that dress over there like I really loved it oh my gosh I want to try that one on and then you find out that your budget is 5k and then that dress is like 30k so this one they're all around three thousand dollars like some are a little bit more some are a little bit less but like all of their designs are around three thousand dollars so you don't really have to worry about that and I think that that's like a good starting place because then the price is not really like swaying my opinion one way or another and then I can figure out what style dress that I like whether I get it from there or not is a different question at least I can figure out what I want now how much am I willing to spend on a wedding dress I have I don't know like I don't really know like if it feels right I'm willing to spend more if I'm just like Hey, I think that this looks like a nice dress. I'm only gonna wear it once. Like it depends on what mood I'm in, really. I don't have a problem spending money on things like I like bags. Love spending money on bags. We'll totally spend money on bags all day because bags have resale value. Like I can sell it later. I get to wear it more than once. But this is a dress that I'm gonna wear one time. Like it's like five thousand dollars. Really, like a reasonable thing to think about. Like I, is that is that like normal? Like and then some of these wedding dress companies, like these designers are so secretive about the pricing like you have to inquire with them to get the pricing so I've been looking on reddit to see like ballparks of like these places that don't list prices online because if I can avoid talking to somebody I'm going to and so I've been finding out a lot of the places that I like like are 7,000 plus and I just don't think I don't know if I'm willing to do that I don't know like I would have to really really love it like and I just don't think that that is gonna I don't think that I'm gonna fall in love with something that heavily that like these dresses that are like 7 to like 15k like will even come into the picture. I'm not super concerned about that. <laughs> Look, if I fall in love with a dress that's like $10,000, like I need to just like talk myself down because that's not it's one day. Like and everybody has their own priorities. Like maybe that is totally worth it to you and that is wonderful and great and congratulations to you. But like for me, 
I don't think it's gonna be like that. Uh, I think 3000 is fine. Like I think that if I can find something less though, I want that. I've been actually looking at the real real because if you search wedding dresses on there, like nothing really comes up. There's like a couple things that come up. But if you search for like white gowns, then a lot of wedding dresses from these like dress designers come up. So I've been keeping an eye out there because if I can get something that's close to my size there, I can get it tailored. I've also been looking on Etsy. Someone in my building got their dress from Etsy and it was absolutely beautiful. I just got it tailored to them once it got here. I've been thinking about that. I don't know how much I want to spend on a dress. Since we're doing something small, the budget overall, like it's just only going to be so large. Like it's not going to be, it's not like we're going to be spending like tens and tens of thousands of dollars on the wedding. So like, I feel like I can splurge on the dress if I want to, but I also don't have to. Like I can use that money for literally anything else. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be back to talk about the whole dress thing and my experience and hopefully this all goes well, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so if we're being honest, it's been like two weeks since I went dress shopping um, and I'm just now getting around to filming the second part of this video. Oh, I don't like that the door is open, hold on. Okay, so first let's talk about the experience of going to the place that I went to. Like I mentioned earlier, I went to Grace Loves Lace in San Diego. The overall experience was really good. The place is very, very cute. I'm gonna move over here so that I can put the videos that I have from my phone over here. I made an appointment. I went in at my appointment time, like maybe a little bit early. I ring the doorbell. They let me into this like cool gate thing that they have out in front. And it's a church that was converted into a wedding dress shop. So it's just absolutely beautiful inside. It was very, 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 very cool looking. The girl who helped me was super sweet, very, very helpful, very kind. I wore something that was like easy to get in and out of. I just wore like, you know, my normal uniform, my uh, just a Lululemon all the way head to toe probably. I think that's what I was wearing. So ahead of time I picked out, I think it was four dresses, maybe five dresses that I wanted to try on when I got there. Um, and so she had those dresses, she went and pulled them from me. And then they have you put on this little like brown slip, which was actually very cute, like brown little slip dress. It was actually very, very cute. I thought it looked really good on me. Um, and they take your measurements from there and then they go back and help you like behind this little curtain to change into the dresses. So also there was only one other um, like group there and it was a girl with her mom, I'm assuming. Um, and they were like all the way at the other end. So it kind of felt like I was in there, you know, just really private area kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, they offered champagne. I got water instead, but it's nice to always offer. I love it. This was the first dress that I tried on and I will put the name of the dress. Should I move this way? Maybe I should move this way. So this was the first dress that I tried on. I will put the name of the dress on the screen because I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I can go find it on their website. I didn't love it. Um, I thought it was nice. Didn't love it for the first dress. Like I it's just, you know, didn't love it. Like I kind of liked the top. I didn't really feel like the whole dress really like looked great on my body type. It was just, it was just underwhelming for me. Like I wasn't super excited about that one specifically or anything. And I think I said this before in the first part of the video, but I knew that like their dresses were all very minimal looking and I probably am looking for something that is a bit more dramatic <laughs> is what I realized throughout this whole experience. So this is very minimal. I think it's beautiful. Um, I just don't think that really most of these were very me. Oh, spoiler alert, I did not find a dress, but I still want to talk about the experience and shopping and everything. The second one that I tried on was this one and I actually really liked this one. I still don't feel like it's the best. Like, I feel like it would look better if I had hips. I don't really have hips like that. So somebody who has hips, like that, it would look amazing, I feel like. I still feel like it looks good. I like the dress. And I think it was by this second dress that I realized that the whole train thing might not be for me. Um, it was very annoying. Like I did not like having to like pick up part of the dress and then move. Like I felt like I was like stuck in one spot. Um, I just didn't like it. Didn't like the feeling of my clothes touching the ground. But overall, I think it looks good, especially on the top half. I feel like it looks good. I think I need something that is more of like an A-line cut um, to kind of like flatter me more. But I liked the dress. The dress was nice. It was really stretchy, like a really like soft, stretchy material. Like it looks like satin, but it was like very stretchy. All the dresses, by the way, that they sold there were very, very comfortable, which was really nice because like I like the idea of being comfortable and all that stuff. But like also, I think I like I said, I'm looking for something a little bit more dramatic. I don't really care as much about being comfortable. I just want a little bit more drama than any of these were giving me. Also, I think that the wedding is going to be in the winter time, so maybe something with some sleeves might be good. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> But this appointment was definitely like a really good place to start. And then there was some added like little decorations and everything that um, that they brought out to put on the dress. So like there was this little piece on the back and then there was also this little, um, there was a little one for the front. I don't really know how I felt about those. Didn't really feel like 
didn't really feel like I would pay for it as an upsell. I don't know if they came with the dress or not, but I'm assuming it was an upsell. Like, I don't really know if I would pay for those. I thought they were nice and everything, but like, yeah, I could do without them. But yeah, lots of pictures in this dress. And then I tried on one that I really liked. I liked this one, but I feel like it also was a little bit too modest for me. And like, I feel like it was a little bit um, more mature <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, I liked it a lot though. Like I liked the way that it looked on me. Um, it was a long sleeve dress, which I, I am really liking the long sleeves. Like I said, it's going to be in the winter. So most likely, <laughs> most likely going to be in the winter. But so the long sleeves would be kind of nice. I think this one was just very goddess like. I think it was very beautiful. Um, super comfortable again. Everything there was very comfortable and it tied at the waist. So it kind of like, you know, like snatched me in a little bit at the waist. It gave me more of a look of a waistline than the other ones did, um, which I liked too. I'm sorry if you can hear Maxine walking around. She wants to, she wants me to let her out on the balcony and I will as soon as I finish filming this video. I think this one was just gorgeous. I, I really, really liked it. Now looking back on the pictures and the videos, I actually like it more than I liked it in the store. And then this next one was my favorite. I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one, but I tried it on with like everything. So, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. This one was my favorite. Although still, once again, not really like the best I feel for my body type. Kind of need something that's A-line cut. I feel like this would be like the perfect dress for a lot of people. And I feel like if you're like open to this like halter style, it was just beautiful. And the girl who was helping me, like of course could tell that I really liked this one the best. This was my favorite one that I saw while we were there. And so she brought out the veil to try on with it. Um, this one had like some detailing on it. Eh, it was nice. I like I like the look of it. I don't don't know if I love veils in general. Maybe something if it had like a little bit of color to it or like it was a little bit fun. So she brought out one that had embroidery on it and then she brought out one that didn't have embroidery on it. I liked the one without the embroidery on it better, but I think it was just because of that specific one. Like if it was fun, if it was like a little bit more fun, I feel like I would like it. Um, just everything being white and ivory is like really just kind of, I don't know if it's my thing. I'm I know it's like one day like it's not that big of a deal like maybe just a little color you know something and it was beautiful thought it was great but like nothing wowed me like i didn't feel like exceptionally pretty in anything like i felt kind of awkward and uncomfortable like the dresses themselves were comfortable but like i didn't really feel you know like any of those were very me which is fine like i said i knew that they were gonna have very minimal dresses those are the dresses for somebody they just, I don't think are the dresses for me. Um, I think I mentioned this before too, but all of them are around $3,000 price point, like $2,500 to $3,000 to three $3, or so. So all around the same price point. Like, and I also realized that like, I don't really feel like there's that much of a difference in the feeling of a dress that costs $3,000 and dresses that I have that cost a couple hundred dollars. At first I was really willing to like, you know, spend quite a bit if I needed to. Like if I wanted something that was like really expensive, I was fine with it. Now I'm starting to feel like that's not worth it. Anyway, just wanted to share my experience since I realized that I never filmed the other part of this video so that I could upload it. I probably will be going somewhere else to shop or I will just be shopping online, but I have to go. I have to run into a meeting. So that's why I'm making this quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also follow me on TikTok because I have been posting other things about the wedding process on TikTok um, and plan to post things about it on TikTok. Uh, so follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I will be on both of those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.